Hello, Patriots. It's Mrs. Harris here to talk to you about this month's learner profile, Communicator. As communicators, we share our ideas and listen to others. That's what authors do when they write books. And I've been on the hunt for books that have show different ways of communicating. I have three amazing stories for you this month that have three very different ways on how to communicate a story. The last time we were together, I shared with you the story Tuesday by David Wisner. It's such an awesome way to communicate a story, mostly through pictures. There's some crazy things that can happen on a Tuesday. The book for, that I have for you this time is called The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This book tells a really funny story with no pictures at all. I hope you enjoy it. The Book with No Pictures by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here's how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Bork! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf! Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, 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 my face is bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kids I'm reading this book to are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And these kids are the smartest kids too, because these kids chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes. Glurgwackamongrumpfadu. Blaggity blaggity glippity gloppity gloppity glippity beep boop ee Badungi face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that.